Break, break in TD, SRO on 212. Good, SRO. Yes, sir, Rangers, go for launch. The Rangers. All right, clear. it's cleared again. I copy that. Launch director NTD. Here we go. Let's go. And GLS, please remove the hold at T minus 31. Copy and work. T minus one minute and counting. With 29 seconds to go, GLS will move so quickly they won't even let the countdown clock stop. All systems are go. All systems have been reported go for launch of Discovery. Less than one minute away now from the historic return of John Glenn to space. I copy and attention all stations. We'll we'll the clock will continue. Home, but it is uh, something else here. Lisa will probably give us a real good walk through this final crisp sequence of events. Okay. GLS is go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers now have control of vehicle functions. T minus 20 minutes, 20 seconds. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8. We have a go for engine start. 5, 4, 3, uh, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew oh. of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. Hey, good blind. So that's what Lisa yeah. was going to say. Discovery, Look at that. It's like program. a candle. Roger roll, Discovery. Oh, my God. <laughs> was I right? Yeah. You can actually feel. Oh. like that sense of flying upside down. You don't really feel that very much. You're so, uh, the force pushing across your body back into the seat is so much stronger, Dave. They, uh... Are the they'll... external tank should be coming off soon? Uh, the, oh no, the external tank won't come off until uh, very minutes? late in the profile. The solid rockets will come off at about two minutes and solid, four seconds. I'm sorry, the solid rockets, That's right. Yeah. They, uh, they throttle down at about uh, 48 seconds to get through the maximum dynamic pressure range. Uh, then they come back to throttle up. You heard that call. And separation is coming up now. Wow. The next event will be burnout and separation of Discovery's twin solid rocket boosters. There go the solids. And I think what a lot of people don't realize, Dr. There, Sullivan, Six is that, more minutes to go. Yeah. Those rocket Discovery boosters then are reusable. Yes, those rocket, rocket those rocket casings land in the ocean and are used again. You'll hear the... Susan still informing the crew that in the event of a single engine failure... Performance nominal. Things are going good. Copy, performance nominal. Discovery could now reach the transatlantic abort site at Banjul. However, telemetry indicating all three engines continuing to perform well. And Discovery's performance to this point, two and a half yes. minutes into the flight, has been as expected. Ooh. Discovery now traveling at a speed of 3,500 miles per hour at an altitude of 43 miles. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 70 miles. All systems are continuing to perform well. In just about another 45 seconds, they'll be going so fast they can't turn around and come back here, and you'll hear Susan still call negative return. Three minutes into the flight, Discovery now traveling at a speed of 3,850 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at a distance of 86 miles. And how many abort sites are there around the world? Just about five minutes of powered flight remaining on board. There are uh, three transatlantic aborts on the continent, primarily the continent of Africa, North Africa, and then you can also go almost a full revolution around the Earth and land in California if you need to. That's at Edwards? That would be uh, at Edwards for this Edwards flight. Yeah. They should be coming up on